Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, if this is the first video of mine you've ever stumbled upon, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss any of my future uploads. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 10 adulting tips, things that I've learned for the past two to three years being in college that have really helped me on my adulting journey. Hopefully it will help you, especially if you're a college student, young adult. These are just some things that I've learned along the way and we're gonna be hitting a whole bunch of different categories from personal finance to laundry to food. If you really like this particular topic, let me know down below. So before we get started, I do wanna encourage you to follow me on Instagram. I've been super, super engaged compared to normal, especially going into the summer. I know I'm gonna be spamming you guys, asking for your advice and things you wanna hear. There's gonna be a lot happening in these coming months and I don't want you to miss it. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. First category actually only has one thing and it is academic school, especially if you're a college student. As you know, I am, I attend Clemson University. If you are again new to my channel, I have found a cool little citation generator tool that I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned in any of my other study productivity college videos before and it is within Google Docs. So if you use the Google Suite already or your school, I should really say, use this Google Suite, this will be a tip just for you and I'm gonna show you right now how you can get to the generator. It basically shows you all the different citations you can use when you're writing a paper. Free citation websites, they're great. And this, it's right there already where you're typing and making the paper or probably where you need the citation anyway. And it's just a one-stop shop. We love that. Being an adult or just having a busy life, you definitely want everything to be concise, all together, quick and easy. Hopefully this tool will be a benefit for you. I've been using it ever since I learned about it a few months ago and I just had to share it with you guys. On to the next category, which is tech. So within tech, another small category, the first one is you wanna make sure that you have have a separate email for all your promotional items. So whenever you go to stores like Bath and Body Works or Bed Bath and Beyond or Target, whenever they're like, hey, you wanna join our email list? Or hey, do you have an email you wanna use? You don't wanna use the same email you already send all of maybe your professional things. I just have almost like a junk email, an email that I always just give out for promotions. That way I don't have to have that particular email attached and on my iCloud or on my phone. It also saves a lot of storage because you don't have all those like spam promotional emails that get sent to you probably multiple times a day. And if you're going to go look for a coupon for a particular store or a particular service that you're using, you can already know what email it's gonna be sent to and you can search within that email itself and find the information you need and then, you know, close it out. So I found that this has been really helpful and that way it's all just concise because especially back in the day, it's not as bad now because iPhones have way more storage and usage than before. Definitely back in the day, I used to run into issues with just having so many emails attached to my email on iCloud. And so I just found that this all in all makes my life as an adult just so much easier. Having a separate email that you give and you already know it's like your email full of all those types of emails. And the next thing is this cool feature that I actually learned, again, it kind of relates to school or at least the way that I've been using it currently, is to have your emails forward to another email. And that probably is like, well, really, that doesn't make any sense. What I mean here is if you have like, for example, your school email, maybe you're not great at checking it, which you probably should, or to different things that you use on a daily compared to some of your other email accounts, you can create and set up a rule where it forwards all those emails to another email account. That way you're not checking five different accounts. You can just check one and know that all your mail is getting forwarded right to that central location. So those were my two little tech tips. On to personal. So the first thing is just make sure to take some time to relax, to refuel at least 30 minutes every day. If that seems like a lot for you, take five, then you know get up to 30 minutes. But I say just take some time at some point in the day, just have like a mental check-in. Give yourself some time that you're not like, you know, dedicated to either work or school or some other facet of life that you're really thinking about you doing stuff that makes you happy, brings you joy that's outside of maybe some of the other things that you're involved in. Next is you have to be intentional with friendships. Honestly, any relationship in your life, you just have to be even more intentional maybe than you were in the past. I know definitely being in college, especially once I started living off campus, I learned that this is something I have to be maybe 10 times more intentional than I was my freshman year when most of my friends lived literally maybe two minute walk away from me. So if you wanna meet with your friends at least once a month, you know, something very basic for some, maybe that's too little for others, you know, figure out first the frequency and then second, just be intentional and like 
like setting up activity it's gonna take a lot of effort on your end but if you're like putting in the work other people obviously want to hang out they're gonna hopefully contribute as well and like try to figure out how to make it work but it's not just gonna naturally happen distance is now probably more of a factor than it was before and you want to plan far enough ahead especially if you all work or have different working schedules you want to make sure that you have enough time to ask off if you need to or make sure that you request certain days off for a particular week Next, we're gonna get into like the home lifestyle -y type things. First is to safety pin your socks together before you put them in the laundry bin or before you even put them in the wash. That way you will not have mysterious socks go missing somewhere in the wash cycle, which I don't know where they go. Next, I told you we would have some like food related things and this is just, especially if you have roommates and you have groceries that you all buy separately, have your name written or maybe your initials on either a piece of tape or on the items that you've purchased that way especially if you buy duplicate items. You don't get mixed up with like who's who. Or for me, most times I will purchase things when I'm hungry and I probably shouldn't. And I will forget later on down the line that I purchased it and just naturally assume it's my roommates when I'm the one who purchased it. And then it eventually goes bad and we have to throw it out and I just wasted money. So in order to avoid that, I found that either buying like stickers and knowing that the ones with the stickers on it or this particular color sticker are mine or writing my initials as you probably saw in last week's video on certain items, that way I know not only for the other person but for maybe yourself you can jog your memory like oh I did buy that now on to personal finance which is everybody's favorite money and managing money I do have some tips things that I've learned that I'm gonna relate to you first is if you have a credit card set a reminder on your phone to pay the bill I don't care if this is right after you make a purchase on the cards so that way you can immediately handle that or if it's right before the payments due at the end of the month once you get the bill just set a reminder on your phone and as you guys know I live by my reminders. Having those reminders on my little to-do list on my phone has really been helpful in places like this. Set a credit card, payment due, bill due, reminder along with that. If you do pay your rent, set a reminder on your phone, maybe at least until you get into the rhythm of like, okay, I pay this once a month. I have mine for the last Sunday of every month so that way I don't miss it. And I just know, hey, it's gonna remind me the last Sunday of every month. Once I see the reminder, I go ahead and handle it. I found that setting reminders for those little personal finance, one-off things that maybe you don't think about, at least right now, consciously because it's still relatively new something you weren't doing maybe two to three years ago next is still take advantage of the student discount use the discounts save the money why not so guys those were all 10 of my adulting tips things that every college student needs to hear know apply do etc i hope this helped you again if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up let me know your feedback down below what thing you found most helpful what thing you're gonna be maybe applying in the future or maybe even just suggestions on other areas of life adulting that you maybe have questions on even can share advice for me because hey again we're all learning here if you want to see more of the series or have other suggestions on what should be in this series in the future definitely leave that also down below so until next time i will catch you guys on the flip side see you back here next sunday bye guys